What's good, YouTube? It's y'all boy Shaw here, man. Um, back here with another video for y'all boys, man. Make sure y'all stay in tune throughout the whole time video I got for you today. And let's get straight into it. A. Don't let that relapse define you. Don't let that relapse beat you up. Think about this real quick. We are on the journey uh seeing retention and getting right with god so if you do relapse right that don't define you what define you is the fact that are you going to get back up and get back on your ground or you going to let that relapse make you feel bad about yourself you won't let that relapse get you back in your lower self no don't look at relapsing as a loss you should look at this instead. You should look at that like a lesson. Every L you take on the journey is a lesson. Every relax you do is a life lesson. So you know to not make that mistake again. And it will lead to becoming a better person. So keep that in your minds. And if y'all do end up in a state of relapsing that, it's a lesson to teach you to avoid that same mistake so you won't end up relapsing again because we are very one percenters bro the average human being cannot do this the average human being can't go one two days without relapsing without busting a nut as i'm speaking right now it's probably somebody that's washing the hub it's probably somebody that's getting the lotion out ready to go crazy you get what i'm saying it's probably somebody right now that's that's fornicating or probably busting the night. You get what I'm saying? So don't feel bad about yourself if you do relapse on your journey. Just know that you are different from the average human being. You are literally one on one, bro. We are one on one on the journey because the average human being can't go weeks, can't go months without relapsing. And the fact that you can go weeks, you can go a month without relapsing, show you that you are a strong individual. So I want to let you know that for sure, that if you're able to go at least a week without relapsing, you are different. You are him. You are one on one. So don't let that relapse define you. Like that fact that are you going to get back up and get back on your grind? That's what's going to define you on this journey. Not that you're going to beat yourself up and like, damn, I'm ready to relapse. I'm ready to fail it, bro. Because I used to fall victim to this because when I first started to see me attention, right? Every time I relapsed, right? I used to feel bad about myself. I used to feel like I was, like I was not a man. I wasn't weak. I, I mean, I was weak, but in reality, in reality, me having that mentality can't be in that lower state. Me having that victim mentality kept me from going, keep going. But me coming to a realization now that every time I do relapse, I look at it like a lesson. So I know that I won't make that same mistake again. And and we will avoid facing that situation again. God don't want you to give up on the journey. Don't give up. Don't give up because you relapse one time. No, no. You should never give up because this is a lifestyle. This is something that we're doing forever. This is not no trend. This is not no one month day. So I want you to Put that in your minds that this is a lifestyle. This is not no trend. So one relapse shouldn't define you. You should you should like look at it as a part of your journey of you becoming a better person overall. You shouldn't look at that relapse like it's the end of your life. Look at that relapse like, damn, I've already relapsed. Oh well. I'm getting right back into it. I'm going harder on the next street because the last time I relapsed, last month on the 25th, 
I ain't feel bad about myself. I knew why I did. I knew that why I did was wrong and it wasn't righteous. And I'm back on my bully because I'm on day 32 right now. I'm hitting 100 days on the street. So I want y'all to, I want y'all to know that right now. I'm hitting 100 days on the street. So I'm not planning on relapsing anytime soon. I'm not planning anymore. Like I told y'all in my updated video about my journey, I cut off all distractions that will lead me to that relaxing state. You get me, you feel me. So on your journey, you are going to relapse. We are not perfect. We are human beings. We are human beings in flesh. We are not robots. So we all tend to F up there and there and there and there. But don't let that one, don't let that one situation define you on your whole entire journey. You might have been practicing for like multiple years, like for like multiple months, and you let that one relapse define you. No, 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 no. Don't let that relapse define you. Get back up. You, you cannot let God down. You just giving up on your journey just because you relapse. You are letting God down. And God is not going to bless you with the blessings he got for you. This is why you guys you always had that positive mindset. Even though when you relapse. Because you know that. You know that it's better days ahead of you. So you're going to get right. You're going to get back up on your feet. And get right with God. And you're going to know that. You're not going to do certain things that will lead you to that relaxing state again so yeah i just want to hop on camera real quick it's like a little motivational like an inspirational thing like a clip you feel me so i wanted to like i know that one relapse don't define you on a journey what defines you is the fact that are you going to are you going to get back up and get back on your ground or you're going to let that relapse beat you up keep you in your little self and keep you away from God. No, no, no. Don't let that relapse take you away from your relationship with God. Don't let that relapse make you dive back in into the things of the world. Don't let that relapse make you at all satanic again. No. God, God knows that we all tend to make mistakes on this journey. Nobody is perfect, so I'm not perfect. Don't look at me like I'm this perfect person because I make content. No, I'm not perfect. I make mistakes, but but I own to it though. Oh yeah, another thing is that you gotta take accountability to know when you do f up on the journey because when you do take accountability, right? You know that things that you did wrong and basically you know that you're not going to do that again so taking accountability is a must on the journey you must take you must take accountability when you relapse because it was your fault honestly that that you relapse because you control your life you you control everything you do so when you do relapse you got to be real with yourself and come to that fact that it was your fault that you relapsed because I'm starting to realize the fact that every relapse I had on my journey, it was my fault. It wasn't her fault. It was my fault. So, yeah, I just want to hop on camera real quick and tell her that don't let that relapse define you on this journey. This is a lifestyle. So, if you got to this point, I want to say I love you, bro, and keep doing you. You are great. And for all the new subscribers. I really appreciate you for tapping in and showing support. That really means so much to me. That shows that I'm doing I'm doing the right thing and it's showing. So yeah. Make sure I hit the like button, drop a comment, and share this message out to anybody that you know that feel bad about themselves after relapsing the journey. And to the next video, man. I love y'all, man. Peace. Yeah.